morning. Parked up in Bin Green car park today. And we're going up there. Alderman's Hill. Come on, let's crack on. So we're looking over at Wimbury Brow Rocks there. And then as we come round, this is up to Dean Rocks, Ashway Gap, and then up to Ashway Moss. And if we followed that round over to the left, that's where Trinical is, which we've been to before. Throughout my Ethel Challenge and all the years that I've lived on the edge of the Peak District, I think in terms of all of this national park, I'm yet to find a more impressive skyline than what you can see from here. It's and from going up there last time up to Trinical, I really wanted to get back here and have an explore up this side. So I've kind of been waiting for that and the opportunities never really arose. Well, today's the day. I don't know how much filming I'm gonna do on the way up. Because as you all know, I'm not the fittest of geezers, but we'll try as best and we'll get up and have a look when we get up there. That's looking down over Dove Stones Reservoir. A lot of people in that car park, good weather. Brings a lot of people out, which is good news, as long as they're respectful of all this beautiful countryside. Oh, oh just getting to the ridge line now. Oh, wow, yes. You can see all this from over that way. Marvellous. It's a steepish climb that beggar though. Yes mate. So we've got to this little plateau bit. First thing we're gonna do is head over to that obelisk and then walk like around. I think we're going to a place called Dig Hill. Um, I think that's what it's called, and then swing back, and then we're going to end up up uh, top of Alderman's. We're not going to go up there to start with. So, a nice little circular forest. Uh, let's get going. We're walking on here um, over to the obelisk, which I believe is a World War One memorial, and I think it's. I think this is where the pots and pans stone is. I'm not exactly sure, I'm going to see if we've got internet and have a little read once we get there, but I think this is where the pots and pans stone is. Um, so if it is, it is, and if it's not, it's not. Alright, nice one. So we could carry on to Obelisk up that way, but we're going to nip down this little track here and follow that way up because it takes us through this little rock formation here. So um, let's go. That rock's got to be worthy of a name, surely. That's absolutely fabulous. Let's go up to it and have a look. Well, I'm astounded. Before I climbed up, it looked like some massive, substantial piece of rock. Have a look what it's really like. Look how like, thin that is. That's absolutely crazy. As if people have seen it before. It might not be that astounding, but 
that's that one with gapping. What a fabulous place. You can see it from here now I've climbed up onto this little line here. Look how thin that is. I can't believe it's still standing. Marvellous. And then just peeking over the top, you can just see obelisk and that's that's the pots and pans stone. So we're gonna go up to that now, have a look. Look at them three iconic things on your screen right now. Well, two. Alderman Hill, War Memorial Obelisk, and Pots and Pans Stone. What a view. So on this rock you're meant to be able to see a face in it from some angles but can't see beggar all i've been walking around it ages and uh, it's meant to be like a newer's with a chin sticking out oh, is that it that could be it i don't know or could it be that there that actually might so I don't know if I've got angle right but I think this is a face meant to be like a, a big chin and it's nose and then it's eye with rest or its head I, I don't know I <laughs> bit loose that but I'm not sure it could be it could be I mean that that looks a bit like it as well to me so I don't know I ain't got a clue I'm not sure what's what but that's meant to be that's meant to be faces that you can see in pots and pans stuff right so now we've not really seen faces in it if we go up onto it we can see why it gets its other than its actual name of the pots and pans stones because oh, it's got these kind of little basins in top of it. Um, I'm just gonna stop recording for a second while I jump up. So there's quite a lot of these like basin type holes along with like some carvings and some letters and graffiti. So there's quite a lot of these in top of it. And there's a few bits of folklore surrounding these. So the first rumour is that it were used for collecting the blood of sacrificial victims and this stone is connected to old druid rituals I can see that do an odd loon kicking about at that at that time uh, in them years weren't there so probably odd odd murder happened up here if you can't attend odd execution what have you got left eh? and uh, we're better to do it than up here Secondly, that the, there were a rumour that it has rainwater collected in them. Um, it cure sore eyes and eye disease. Again, a bit loose that one, I'm not sure if that's any good. Um, but you know, we like a good tale, don't we? So um, I'm going to get down now, I'm going to get a drone out and have a, have a look at an aerial view of this, uh, this little gaff. And we're going to go off to that obelisk and have a look at that and all. This is the moment you've been waiting for, kid. Let's go and show them how it's done.
So that were a look at the obelisk, and if we look at this stone here, this stone was laid by Mrs. C. A. Schofield, 19th of May, 1923, and it is a memorial to all lads who lost alive in World War One. God bless you, boys. At the bottom here in 1951, where added the names of the men who fell in the Second Great War, 1939 to 1945, and also the names of Springhead men of the First World War, 1914. I wonder if any of them had ever come up here before, before that, because that would be Fort Trespass. Nice amount of poppies here, little wreaths and. Yeah, nice. So from me at Alderman Obelisk and the Pots and Pan Stone, that's where I'm going to end today's video. I'm going to concentrate on resting my walk now up over top. I think it's Dick Hill, back along Ridge Line, and over to all, up onto Alderman's Brow. Um, didn't actually kind of plan this. I meant to. I was going to go up. To Trinical again, but as I drove over this way, I remembered that this was where I wanted to come and found a couple of nice little features at top. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you all again at some point. Akuna Matara.